Stage one, you are starting your outreach. Stage two, you are beginning to gather BANT info. Stage three, you are 80 to 90% done acquiring the key information that's needed from BANT. Stage four, you have landed the meeting. Stage five, you have disqualified the account. So as a manager, how do you track the effectiveness of a rep's prospecting into accounts? Because as a manager, as I manage a team of business development reps, aka BDRs, I want to see, okay, is the outreach that's happening, is it more of a spray and pray method? Or is it something that we could effectively track through a set process and a system? And one of my favorite quotes is you don't rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. And so I remember last year, I wanted to create a system for myself so that during a one-on-one, -on -one, I can see through a quick update, cool, how many accounts do you have here? How many accounts do you have here, here, here? And so we're gonna talk about each of these stages that I've put together in this framework so we could track the effectiveness of a BDR's outreach strategy. I wanted to create a system that mirrors the same exact way that an account executive tracks the amount of deals that they have in their pipeline. So how many deals do they have in stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four, and so forth, right? And so same system goes here. I wanna be able to say, okay, cool, from a BDR starting their outreach into their book of business, are they effectively breaking into these accounts, gathering the right pieces of information that's progressing them forward, so that me as a manager, I know how many accounts does this BDR have in stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. Okay, as I start my outreach into this set account, Am I making key progress into it? And if so, as I continue to front load and add new accounts into Cadence, I don't want to forget about this account that I started and I selected uh, to want to break into because it might be one of my priority accounts, if you will. So that being said, the system kind of mirrors what an account executive thinks about. Is there an exit criteria before I move this over into the next stage? And that way, as a manager, you can properly forecast how many accounts should we be landing meetings for on a month-to-month -month basis. Similarly to how we talked about last week with prospecting and identifying where is my low-hanging fruit, I wanna be able to, as a manager, be able to say, okay, if a rep starts prospecting into these five accounts, over the course of a month, 20 new accounts that they're putting into Cadence. How is that going? What is the progress? Can we track that? Is it measurable? And so, so that's where every single one-on-one, -on -one, we should be able to properly track, cool, I've got out of these 20 accounts, this many in stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. Let's go through and talk about what are these different stages. So these different stages, again, you could name them, you can have as many stages as your heart desires. I'm just going to start off with giving you at least a bit of an example or framework that you can start off with to use today if there isn't a necessarily a way that you're currently tracking your progress. It's stage one. So this is where you are essentially communicating to your account executive or your manager that you are beginning progress in enrolling these contacts that you've selected from these accounts into Cadence. So you're starting your outreach, you've decided this account, you're gonna pop in three to five to 15 contacts into sequence, and you're gonna try to break into these accounts. Stage two. Stage two means that at this point, you've begun your outreach and you've started to gather information and you've begun taking and acquiring pieces of information that would lead you to believe that there could be an opportunity to break into this account. So for example, a great one that a lot of companies use, it's a very fundamental one, it's called BANT. BANT stands for budget, authority, need and timeline. So what that means is as a BDR, you've begun outreach and you've contacted, let's say someone that is more of an influencer in the process, maybe someone that isn't a decision maker. 
someone that can actually start an initiative, start a project, sign off on it. So as an influencer, you might have contacted them and you might have gathered, uh, maybe you're attempting to displace a software for the organization. So at this point, you've contacted this person via phone call or email and you've identified, okay, we're using this software today. This is what I hate about the current software. Uh, but at this point, I don't know how long the contract is, how much the contract is, if we have a budget set aside for this, and I don't know, um, you know, timeline-wise if this is the right time to start a conversation or not, but this is all I know, right? So at this point, out of BANT, you've identified the need. Potentially, uh, there is an area that your software or your product can help solve for a couple of these challenges that this influencer just mentioned. Then you might contact another individual within the org through your cadence. You might have uh, gotten a response back via an email. And maybe in the email they said, oh, this is actually not something that's in my wheelhouse, but this person within the org is. This is the authority uh, that could help answer a lot of these questions or even start a conversation regarding why your company might be a good fit to start a partnership with. So now you've identified of, uh, within BANT, VA, which is the authority, because you got pointed in the right direction, as well as also N, meaning what software or product they're currently using today and challenges that they are currently experiencing. But you still don't know B, the budget, uh, or T, the timeline of which it would be a great time to actually start these conversations. So let's say you get a hold of a different person within the organization. Let's say you get a hold of the actual decision maker at this point, and they tell you, hey, uh, you know, I've heard that you've been speaking with many people from my team. Uh, love that you're tenacious. Currently, we do have a contract that we're on with this specific vendor. However, it's set to be done or the, the contract is set to be up over the next six months. So at this point, now you've identified the authority, the need, and now the timeline, which is at least it's within the next 12 months. If you start to, to chip at a lot of these BANT categories, whether it's getting one or getting it, or maybe it's getting all of the criteria, that right there moved from a stage two over to a stage three, if not a stage four, through having one conversation or numerous conversations with people from the organization. Stage two just means that you have started to gather pieces of BANT, pieces of your set criteria that you need to acquire as a BDR to progress this account forward. So for, for me, if it's one piece of information, it's officially from a stage one to a stage two. Now stage three, I call this the finish line stage, meaning you've acquired 80 to 90% of BANT through your outreach. And again, it could have happened from one person or multiple people from an organization that you've spoke to and confirmed this key criteria. So that's a stage three. You're right there at the finish line. You're so close, just the dang decision makers, the buying committee refuses to pick up your phone call or your emails. Stage four, you have landed the meeting. At this point, you've spoke to uh, the decision maker and they've decided, yep, let's meet up and have a conversation. Or stage five means you spoke to a decision maker and they're like, yep, right now is not a great time. Contact us back in 12 to 24 months. So you've disqualified this account at this point from your outreach. So what I also love about this strategy is that as a BDR, you are in complete control of how many accounts you're reaching out to, meaning every BDR works at a different pace. I know some BDRs out there that can slam out and be reaching out to 100 to 200 accounts in any given quarter and feel really good about that workload. However, other BDRs maybe like to go at their own individual pace because they are a little bit more methodical about what goes on in reaching out to some of these accounts. You, at this point, are in control of how many accounts you're reaching out to. So if you, let's say, are inundated with way too many accounts, that is your cue to tell your account executive or your manager, hey, I need to turn off the faucet of these many new accounts that I'm reaching out to because I have way too many in stage one or in stage two that I have to work on what's currently in my account pipeline 
so that I can effectively progress these forward. But it's a balance, right? So you don't want to only have 50 accounts that you're really fixated on and not, you know, reach out to, to new ones that would be great accounts and, and great, you know, opportunities there. So you got to figure out for yourself, okay, how many on a, on a week to week or month to month basis can I be adding that are new while still controlling the amount that are being pushed through and progressed forward within my account pipeline? So you might be thinking, okay, so how do I know how to troubleshoot this, right? So maybe I've got too many in stage one or stage two or stage three or stage four. So the troubleshooting is pretty simple. Typically, if there are a lot of accounts that are in stage one or stage two, that means that you started cadence for a lot of these in stage one or stage two. Maybe you've got just one or two pieces of information, but not enough to progress it over to a stage three. So typically the way to solve stage one or stage two problems is to add more people into cadence or into sequence from those accounts that you're reaching out to from stage one or stage two. More people, more information simply put. If they are currently in stage three, that means that they're right there at the finish line. You've got all the information needed. You've got all the pain points, all the challenges, all the headaches that the people are experiencing with their current product or software. You just need to land the meeting with the decision makers. So at this point, this is your cue to put on your creative hat and figure out creative ways of getting in front of the decision makers. So creativity, ingenuity is needed if you've got a lot of accounts in stage three. So for stage three accounts, you might ask your account executive to double tap some of these accounts to do some one-off calls. You might ask your account executive to do some one-off emails or LinkedIn touch points. You might ask your sales manager that manages the sales team for some help and saying, hey, I'd love to get some executive alignment. Could you shoot off an, a LinkedIn message or an email for me on my behalf just to see if we can try to get this get this account on, on the hook finally. So you can figure out different ways of getting them and getting in front of the right people by aligning with other people from your organization. Follow for more business development tips. I'll catch you next time.